time. I'm actually just going to take you in the last mile and a half approach here um, as we pull into the house. So uh, you'll get a decent view of what the approaching community is. We're 1.3 miles away on um, Pretty Brook Road in Princeton right now. And this should uh, give you a good sense as you kind of look around is, you know, what you're coming into. There's a lot of gates uh, leading up to homes. It's nice and, uh, you know, nice and wooded. Uh, there's a lot of estate homes in through here. Uh, so you can get a, a decent idea of what the surrounding community is like. really pretty out here during the fall uh, when the colors change uh, it can be quite spectacular actually have a gated home over there you're gonna see uh, I'm gonna make this left hand turn up ahead on Stone, on uh, Province Line Road, and that'll lead me into uh, Stony Brook Lane, uh, and I'll just record as we pull up to the house, and then I'll end up uh, stopping the recording for a little bit. Alright, well, I don't know what happened there. It stopped recording for some reason. Um, I think it's because it heard me say the words. I hadn't realized it was voice activated. So anyway, we're turning on to uh, Stony Brook Lane right now. Uh, here's the approach to the home. see you know, most of the homes are set back pretty far from the road uh, you'll notice a lot of deer fence around here because uh, the deer will come in and uh, do a number on your property There's even the smaller ones around here which aren't small by any measure uh, even the smaller ones around here will uh, have some substantial upgrades to them so we just passed one with a, a full metal roof you don't see that often um, and uh, you know, you'll uh, you know, you'll really get a a good sense here as to uh, what we're looking at. Uh, there is another house down at the end for sale down that way. Uh, if you want to get some uh, comparable assessment on that one, and uh, as you can see, we've got some people uh, seeing the property right now. So I'm going to wait for them to uh, get inside before I start the tour. And then uh, I'll stitch this all together and upload it for you then. All right. Here we are at 88 Stony Brook. Uh, I'll take you through the interior first and I'll stitch the exterior together. Gorgeous place. Um, the way it's set up, there's a bedroom, uh, like a guest bedroom suite on the ground floor. Uh, I'll take you through there first, then I'll go to the second floor, and then we'll get down to the basement. Um, so as you come in, there's a powder room right off to the side here. Large storage closet. Um, and then as you walk through the center atrium, you get to this nice, big, massive uh, space here, which is gorgeous. Uh, these uh, chandeliers are probably $20,000 chandeliers each, if not more. Uh, so those are, those are quite cool. Um, over here, uh, there's a little wet bar, uh, followed by an office off to this side. Um, pretty much everything will leave with the exception of the workout equipment and uh, uh, some of the entertainment stuff will stay behind, but otherwise the house will be conveyed vacant. More of your wet bar over here. This is the guest bedroom right now, which is being used for, I guess, a massage space, uh, which is uh, kind of cool. Followed by a guest bedroom suite. It's nice, got a nice uh, slit drain in there. Uh, this is this is pretty pretty attractive the way it's done. It's very updated and modern and current. As you head down to the other side of the property, uh, you'll see you've got the pass through uh, gas fireplace. You've got a formal dining room off to the right here, and then you've got the a uh, really large uh, open concept kitchen. 
all, all top tier high end appliances, multiple sinks, you know, everything you'd expect to see in a uh, home of this class. Um, pantry in the back, laundry room on the main floor, and then pass through to the garage. There's also another powder room over here, which is kind of cool. So the garage is a three car, leads out to the backyard. All, all the doors are, you know, auto opening and you've got access to the attic space up top. Eating kitchen in addition to the formal uh, dining room. And I'll take you out real quick to the pool area. You've seen a bunch of pictures and the marketing video for the pool, but this is gorgeous back here. I'll take you in another uh, separate video. And I might stitch it together. We'll see how long it how long it takes to uh, process everything. But this patio out back is fantastic. You've got the built-in grill, uh, built-in outdoor kitchen. Uh, this is really, really quite cool. Uh, you've got the outdoor fireplace. Like, every amenity you'd want is out here. Now you saw the double staircases when we came in through the front door. However, there's also rear entry through here. Uh, this is this is a secondary staircase or a buffalo staircase to get to the second level. This is where all the uh, primary bedrooms are at. So we're in the uh, the smaller bedroom wing now. The attic, which is off to my right, is finished. I'll take you up top. Got. Ample closet space. There's tenants in here now, so you're seeing their stuff. Um, but first bedroom, it's got its own. Well, I'm not going to go out there. Uh, oh, hell. This patio up here needs a little bit of work. You know, it's just maintenance type stuff, but you can get a sense of. Uh, you know, the manicured part of the yard. There's a lot more of unmanicured and just kind of left, left in the wild uh, of the uh, rest of the house. There's a bird in here saying hello to me. Nice size closets for the kids. And then this is actually the sleeping area for this bedroom. So it's got its own bath. And this is a good size, good size bath as well. Again, it's appropriate for a, you know, a home in this price point. Walking across the hall, we have a similar type situation. Sleeping area, bathroom. It's got its own balcony. It's really the same as we saw before. And then closet space for this bedroom. So this is beds one and two. Over here we have the master. I'll take you up to the attic uh, space uh, before we head down to the basement. But the uh, the primary bedroom uh, is over here, and it's really large. So sleeping quarters are off to the right here. Another uh, pass through fireplace. Sitting area. Goes into the bath, nice soaking tub off to one side, little big shower. Uh, I'm not sure the wet is for the shower, uh, but it's jetted on all sides. Uh, this is, you know, a pretty substantial uh, shower space. You've got a nice, quiet uh, toilet with its own air, you know, uh, air replacement, i.e., fan, uh, so <laughs> it doesn't get stinky. There's, uh, you also have with this one, uh, you do have the, um, you know, each of the bedrooms has its own uh, little porch out front. And then the master suite also has this really big changing area over here. You can see either side has a nice custom closet. 
uh, but there's additional uh, closet space over here and again with the balcony out back. We'll zip on up to the attic space real quick, then we'll head down to the basement and then I will continue with an outside tour. So this space is all finished off, it's climate controlled, um, you know, it can be used as an additional um, entertainment space, office space, uh, you, you can put additional bedroom space up here, uh, so you do have uh, a lot of flexibility here, you know, in addition to just the storage, you're going to get naturally in an attic. So, spot one. Spot two, like you got a lot of room for stuff up in here. And if you have enough stuff to fill this house, then we have to have a conversation because that's a lot of stuff. But you'll see they already finished this off as an additional bedroom space. So, you know, you got the three below, you've got the one master bedroom, three or four, there's the master, or not the master, there's the guest bedroom down below. There's more storage similar to the other side over here. Um, and really, if you wanted to, you can make, you know, this is set up as another bedroom. So really like six when you get down to it. So this is a big house for a large family. You got these nice gorgeous skylights up top above me. We'll zoom on down, hit the basement, and then uh, schlep out of here. The roof on this house is nice. It's a uh, it's a slate roof with uh, you know. And it was built just a few years ago. It's a new house with a slate roof. Nobody does that anymore. Those are uh, expensive to install. Uh, that's probably an understatement. The marble all over the place in this home is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, nearly done. Heading down to the basement. So in terms of mechanicals, uh, the top half of the house is on its own zone, and you've got two zones that are going to be heated and cooled from down here. You know, I mentioned the gym equipment's going to stay. They're not taking that with. Um, but uh, you know, down here, you're looking at more storage, more mechanicals. Um, in homes around here, uh, even though it may not be a problem, is this this uh, setup over here? You'll see various uh, radon pumps uh, that proactively vent uh, potential radon gas out of the basement. Uh, it is a naturally occurring uh, substance here in New Jersey. Yeah, there's no light back here; you can't see that. Uh, but radon is something you'll test for during the inspections phase. And uh, actually, here's the here's the radon one right here. You'll see these big pipes going below the foundation. And the, there's a fan on the outside of the house that'll just continuously run and vent it. But you have additional storage, air filtration, uh, insulation down here. This is a this is a no nonsense basement. Nice thing about down here is once you're done working out, you got a shower. You can shower right down here. Full bar, call it a second kitchen if you really wanted to. I can't tell you how nice it is to see some variation in, um, in countertops because everything I see is white these days. Um, and you do have an awesome wine fridge because it is a fridge. This is this is cool. So your wine cellar is nice and actually this is a this is a wonderful wine right here. The Camus I haven't had Camus in a while. 
Need to, need to secure myself some. Oh wait, I have a bottle at home. I need an occasion to drink that. My, uh, my wife developed an allergy to tannins. I haven't been drinking as much wine, so I think I have a 98 Camus that I gotta crack open. So, in any case, more storage back in here. The tannin's got a lot of stuff. Here's the home theater. Let's see if I have a light to turn on here. Oh, that shuts it off. All right, that's as high as these lights get. So you got this nice home theater in here. Uh, the the chair or the the couches and everything that would go. You do have the stadium type setup, but the furniture is not staying behind. So you need to have a plan for the furniture here. And more storage. So if you've got stuff, this is the place to go. Now, something I get excited about, uh, there's a couple features here I really like. Uh, I really like the Generac uh, instant um, generator system. It's a natural gas fire. It'll come on automatically if the power goes out. Huge plus, especially living out here in the woods. Uh, I'm also a big fan of the tankless water heaters. Uh, there's super high efficiency. It's instant, uh, well, instant in about 10 seconds, right? Um, but they're really efficient. They don't sit there and heat water for you when it's not in use. Uh, so there's three here. It's plenty of, uh, plenty of hot water for the whole house. Um, you've got your third HVAC system for this side of the house over here. Uh, and again, Tons of storage and everything is insulated down here. Like normally a basement is uh, real humid uh, because there's uh, just a lot of moisture that comes in through the concrete. This keeps this thing so super comfortable. Uh, it's really, uh, really an impressive space. So I'm gonna wrap up the interior tour so uh, she can leave and then I'll do the exterior and I'll stitch them all together. Okay, I'm gonna record the outside now. So I'll start from, well, you can see the tail end of the driveway behind me. Uh, you saw the drive in, okay, um, in terms of how we entered at the beginning of the video. Uh, we went in through that front door. You can see it's got this really nice slate roof. You can see all the windows that are on that finished attic space. Um, this is a substantial, massive house. It's really well built from what I can tell. Uh, all the attention uh, that you wanted to put in uh, at the right time was there. So. I'm gonna go around the back of the house to the left first, and then we'll finish up over on the right. Um, it's about three acres. A lot of it's wooded, um, which actually is nice because then you don't have to maintain it. Uh, maintaining a landscape like this can be uh, expensive and daunting. Um, but for situational awareness, you do have this little brook off to the side here. Uh, right now it's dry. We're in the middle of a drought. Um, it, it hasn't rained worth a darn in a really long time. Uh, so you're gonna see that uh, yeah, you know, the grass is kind of brown in areas. It's just gone dormant. You see, obviously, the uh, the creek is uh, on the green side. This house does not have a sprinkler system, which I thought was interesting. And you can see some of the shrubs uh, are starting to suffer because of that. So these cherry laurels over here, two of them uh, have died, um, which is, you know, unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, in terms of uh, what you have out here, you have this uh, kind of back to nature part of the uh, lot, which is really cool. Uh, I like this a lot, so you get the, uh, you know, you'll have the opportunity to enjoy, um, you know, the natural parts of this part of New Jersey, which I happen to really like. Uh, I'm a transplant here, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you're out on the, uh, the edge of the, uh, the Sauron Mountains out here, which is uh, really quite cool. Um, property line goes way up back there. You can see the fence way in the distance. If you look straight ahead in the direction that we're passing, there's kind of like this path that leads up there. I'm not going to walk all the way up there because, well, you'll kind of get it real quick. It's, you know, it's treed. It's a path, right? Um, the property line goes up to the road. You just saw a vehicle uh, drive past there, and it'll run along that for some, some time. Um, as we walk back towards the property, and I took you out on the, um, I took you out by the pool before, there was this, what looked like a drained area, like a kiddie pool. It's actually not. Uh, it's a, uh, it's like a sitting area, a conversational area. It's, you know, you're supposed to put a, um, uh, you're supposed to put a, uh, you know, like, uh, 
cushions and you sit out there and uh, have conversation. There's a drain in the bottom to let everything uh, drain out so you don't, it doesn't fill up with water when it does rain. Uh, the property line over here actually runs along this fence. So it shoots up to the road over there, but you do have this fence line here and this shed uh, belongs on the neighbor's property, which is interesting. It doesn't look like it's been used in a long time, actually. So, as we walk along the back, again, you can see all this browned out grass. It's gone dormant. Um, you will see there's a low fence in here that marks off the area that's uh, typically uh, landscaped, and you can see it wraps around the side. You know, here we are back at the pool in this uh, area closest to me where that blue, like, um, tarp is. That's that seating area I was talking about. They have done an okay job of at least watering uh, most of the shrubs, but you know it's been difficult to stay out of it. That's a lot of it's a lot of labor uh, when it hasn't been raining. And again without that built-in sprinkler system it's tough. Have this nice awning. We are right outside the uh, the main uh, sitting area that uh, was in the central area of the house when you came in. Uh, the house is set up where you've got natural drainage of any uh, rain, so you don't have to worry about flooding. Uh, it'll actually capture any runoff, and it'll shoot it down in here. Now, if you look on that survey that I sent you, there are some wetlands marked on the map, and those actually, so this is meant to capture all the, the drainage here off to the right, uh, and then it'll just percolate into the soil. But as you head back into this area over here, this is the spot that's marked as wetlands on the map, uh, or, or rather on the, the survey. Uh, and if I recall on the survey, there was like a basketball court marked off. They never put that in. Um, that would have been next to the pool. Um, but uh, yeah, so back in here, you know, you got this nice, you know, again, nature, nature preserve. It's really quiet out here. Um, so this is your, this is your septic. Uh, Oh no, this is the sewer. Nice. Okay, this isn't septic. This is sewer. That's awesome, actually, that you're on sewer. It's really cool. Um, this is me, you know, just kind of talking from memory at this point because I look at a lot of properties. But what's really nice is it's super, super quiet out here. There's no noise. Like, the only noise I heard, actually, the entire time I was outside was I heard that one truck on, uh, uh, I guess it was Pretty Brook. Uh, and then uh, at one point, there was a private jet that I heard flying over, uh, approaching the uh, uh, Trenton Mercer Airport. Um, but that's not the normal approach pattern. I don't know where that guy was coming from. Uh, so that was kind of unique and uh, original. But in any case, uh, this is the exterior. Uh, since I've been here, I've seen dragonflies. I've seen, there's one buzzing around right now, dragonflies and, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, butterflies and uh, you're gonna see uh, oh, there's a cardinal right there uh, you'll see um, hummingbirds out here you'll see a lot of uh, you know owls and hawks and you'll get the occasional eagle out here too um, so you're really one with nature you're close to New York you're close to Philly you can get the train to either very effectively and uh, so it's pretty nice I like it